This is Divisibility with Dusty Jones. In this presentation we'll look at the division algorithm, greatest common factor, and the Euclidean algorithm. First the division algorithm. Let's assume that A and B are integers. That B with this vertical bar in A is read B divides A. It means that A divided by B has no remainder and if B divides A, there's some integer Q so that A is equal to B times Q. I'd like for you to determine if the following are true or false. And for the true statements, determine the value of Q. You can go ahead and pause it here. For any pair of integers a and b, there are unique integers q and r, which stand for quotient and remainder, so that a equals b times q plus r. r is less than b, but greater than or equal to zero. I'd like for you to use the division algorithm for each of these following pairs of integers. Uh, find the quotient and the remainder. You can pause this here please. The division algorithm states that for any pair of integers a and b there exists unique integers q and r so that a equals b times q plus r and what can we say about r if b divides a? What can we say about q and r if a is between 0 and b? Now let's talk about the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of a set of numbers is the greatest number that divides all the numbers in the set. Uh, we also call this the GCF, the greatest common divisor, the GCD. And I'm going to denote um, the greatest common factor of two integers as GCF with those two integers in parentheses. So the greatest common factor of 38, 36 and 28 is 4. If the greatest common factor of a and b is d, that means we can find two integers q1 and q2 where a is the product of the greatest common factor in q1 and b is the product of the greatest common factor in q2. And this example with 36 and 28, 36 is 4 times 9, 28 is 4 times 7. I'd like for you to find q1 and q2 and the greatest common factor for these pairs of integers below. You can pause it here and come up with the answers. Here's a theorem. If the greatest common factor of two integers is d and a equals this b times q plus r, then d, the greatest common factor, divides the remainder. Here are a few examples. Uh, with 36 and 28, the greatest common factor is 4, the remainder is 8, and 4 divides 8. The same with 270. The greatest common factor is 10, the remainder is 60, and 10 divides 60. Here's a proof using algebra. If the greatest common factor of a and b is d, then we have these integers q1 and q2, where a is d times q1 and b is d times q2. If a equals b times q plus r, we can substitute for a and b to get d times q1 equals d times q2 times q plus r. Solving for r, now we get d times q1 minus d times q2 times q equals r. Or if we factor out a d, uh, we get r equals d times quantity q1 minus q2 times q. That quantity in parentheses is an integer because q, q1, and q2 are all integers. Therefore, r is the product of d and an integer, which means that d divides r. An even stronger statement is that the greatest common factor of a and b is not only a factor of the remainder r, it's the greatest common factor of r and b, the divisor. In symbols, we say that if a equals b times q plus r, 
then the greatest common factor of A and B is the greatest common factor of B and R. And some examples we have with 36 and 28, uh, the greatest common factor of those two numbers is 4. Uh, the remainder is 8, and the greatest common factor of 28 and 8 is also 4. Similarly with 270. You already know several methods for finding the greatest common factor of two integers, uh, such as listing uh, all the factors of two integers and seeing which factor in common is the greatest. You can use the prime factorizations and choose the smallest power of every prime that's listed in both factorizations. Or you can use your calculator. There's a function under math, num, called GCD. In the next section, I'll show you a, a very old method uh, that's also been used, and that's called the Euclidean algorithm. The Euclidean algorithm is a method for finding the greatest common factor of two numbers, and it was from book seven in Euclid's Elements, although it probably existed uh, before Euclid's time. The Euclidean algorithm says that if we start with two integers, a and b, we can write the following um, divisions. a equals b times q1 plus r1, and then we divide b by r1 to get b equals r1 times q2 plus a new remainder r2, all the way down till we get 0 uh, for a final remainder. And this sequence of remainders, r1, r2, r3, up to rn, uh, are all greater than 0 however they are decreasing. And from the previous results we have, we have that these remainders divide each other, and with the stronger statement we have that Rn, that last non-zero remainder, is the greatest common factor of A and B. I think it would be good to look at this in practice. There's like 36 and 28, and use this method. We start with 36 equals 28 times 1 plus 8. Now we'll divide b, the 28, by the first remainder, 8, to get 28 equals 8 times 3 plus 4. Now we take the first remainder, 8, and divide by the next remainder, 4, to get 8 equals 4 times 2 plus 0. Once you get a remainder of 0, you look at the last non-zero remainder, which was 4. So the greatest common factor of 36 and 28 is 4. I'd like for you to use the Euclidean algorithm to find these following uh, greatest common factors. Um, and you should probably pause the video as you work on this. And here are some answers to the exercises.